All right, we're back for another edition. Right, let's go get steel. My boss is going to April 2nd edition. looking at about a man that's a lot of steel I wonder if someone had a fucking trailer to move all this stuff with shit oh, okay. comment yeah those are my work boots they're steel toe sneakers I'm a fat fuck and my feet hurt and my cat boots so I'm wearing sneakers well here we are boys Plumbing's looking beautiful as always, I just gotta say. He gone. Woo. Let's cinch this boy down. And these how your straps should be, guys. Tied up, ish, ready to go, not jumbled up. I was converted by a friend because I always jumbled them up. And this just makes life so much easier. It really does. So I would recommend tying up your straps. Oh, it's, it's nice. We got a red stupid flag. Let's go put it on. All the way up there. Behold. <laughs> Is it legal? I don't care. We got projects to do and I'm under quarantine. So, let's get this circus on the road. Now on the pedal, we're just in first gear, just the crawling, baby. Coast is clear. Coast is clear. We're going left, baby. My gauges really don't shake like that. I turn on and off. It's just how the camera's picking it up.
turbo mode now. Boom! Let all the ponies out. Alright boys, we're on the home approach. Okay, so we got everything unloaded. We've got two 18-foot bars and one 9-foot bar. And that will give you enough length to do a box and then one runner down the center for the actual beaver tail part. And then we're gonna box it in, not box it, but line it with angle iron. That way we can lay our planks of wood on it. So, let me show you. See, your boy is an advanced tail belly. Um, so this is kind of what I drew up to kind of what I wanted lengthwise so I can get my angles and everything right. AutoCAD, it's pretty simple. I wanted to get everything mathematically correct and this really helped me when I did all the angles for the neck. That's such a, such a help, I'm telling you. So that's the rough size of the S10 on a 30 foot trailer and that'll that centered load and all that stuff. We didn't really account for the engine. It's just whatever. So this is what we've got for the beaver tail. And that's what I've got here. So we're gonna have one, two, three, four, five pieces to cut. So let's go do that. So apparently uh, it was 70 degrees yesterday. Now it's 30 degrees today. I don't know what's going on. That's why I'm in warm clothes again. Time lapse. got it guys we've got it barely <laughs> put together I just kind of wanted to get an idea of all the angles and everything we're gonna be doing and it looks cool it looks cool trying to get a good shot here oh yeah so that's uh 10 foot it's actually 8 foot but the angles and how we're gonna do for the approach on the entry ramp I'm going to add two feet of steel plate on the back, a quarter inch steel plate. That'll give us a nice, almost seamless transition to the ground. And then that'll help for loading. The only thing I'm worried about now is this entry angle, which shouldn't be too bad. Actually, the entry angle is going to be something like that, which isn't bad. Uh, it's going to be... 16 degrees, probably a little more because I'm going to add a little bit more to the end. But the beauty of this setup, you can drive halfway on and then lift the front or the uh, the back end up with the hydraulics and center your load. So that's what we're doing. Now let's tack everything together, square it up, and then we'll figure out where we're going to run our center beam. Uh, we'll get to that later. Let's just, let's just weld it up right now.
the beginnings of the ramp to the beaver tail. Um, yeah, all you gotta do is dust it in, dust it everything, cut this pipe or the beam to run across the middle, and then I've got some angle iron or lace and angle iron all the way around. That way I can land my planks as well as some runners across. In a perfect world, I'd like another beam here and here, but in the interest of weight and uh, materials, that's what I'm going with. It, it'll be fine. It's it'll work. So that's all the time I've got. This video is probably getting up pretty long already. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Comment, subscribe, all that good stuff.